Jordan Wilkerson, <laughs> live in the first alert storm center. Jordan, a warm up too is coming in the next few days. It will, Bill. Actually, we have to get through a couple more days in the 60s, mid to upper. And then for our weekend, we'll go back to normal temperatures in the low to mid 70s. So we're not going to be getting hot by any means, but a little bit more seasonable, I guess you could say. Hey, you just saw that uh, promo about our news app. Don't forget to download our live five weather app as well, so that if you're not in front of the TV, you can still track the showers that we're going to be seeing throughout the rest of this evening. Now, if you are going to brunch 63 by 11, 67 by one and 70 by three o'clock with plenty of sunshine and once again, breezy conditions. You shouldn't need the umbrella. We're not expecting showers at least until maybe overnight, but hang on to the hats once again. More on this. Well, Jordan, I'm going to call it a traffic nightmare. That's a good way to put it, Bill, actually, because it's really slow going out there. And also with those uh, areas near the coastal flood advisory that we saw earlier, still having some road closures downtown, too. But we're also seeing from Cottageville along alternate 17 all the way to Dorchester Estates, even parts of Somerville, seeing some light showers for your dog walking forecast. Going to keep it comfortable in the 70s until about 10 o'clock, then upper 60s. Send me your pictures of your dogs if you want them to be the star of Fido's forecast. High tide was at 624 and we had a look at one of our sky cams and it didn't look too bad, but we'll continue with this flood warning until tomorrow at two o'clock. So let's get right to it. Take a look at your emoji cast. I gave the little expressionless face on Friday because it's kind of yeah. Not the best. Well, it's not going to be horrible either, but we do have that chance for showers. I'm thinking about Saturday because we do have about a 20% chance for showers, but it looks to get a little bit better as the day continues and get out those sunglasses for Sunday because it boy, is it going to be beautiful and warm. If you do have plans to maybe go grab some dinner, go see a movie, maybe it's date night, leaving the kids at home perhaps and having some fun. Well, we're going to be in the 60s until about 11 o'clock. Now, some of you inland folk could uh, see the 50s a little sooner than that, but breezy, clear and cool. You know, tonight actually we're going to be a little bit colder than we were the past couple of evenings because we have that lack of cloud cover. We are talking about getting on and off John's Island, so you can get on to John's Island using Main Road for the next hour. They'll have one lane open right now. It looks pretty good on 17 North and southbound. Could see maybe a stray shower, but not really expecting much. Tomorrow is when we're expecting this cold front to push those showers through, and we could also see some thunderstorms associated with this. Oh, hold up. People have to oh. see that you did wear some green oh. on St. Patty's Day. Can you, <laughs> can you show these socks? These socks are incredible. Here we go. Green. Yeah. Thank you very much, Jerry. I had to be a little festive. Yeah, Thanks, festive. Bill. <laughs> We've also got green here, but this is rain. This is the green we're not really happy about, right? Been sprinkling a little bit today. Right. We had some earlier, getting a little bit of a break now. Looks like our biggest threat would probably be between 6 and 9 tonight. So let me take you over here so you can kind of see what we're looking at on our first alert live super doppler max maybe seeing a few sprinkles right now definitely pick it up on some moisture but take a look well west of our area uh, parts of orangeburg starting to see some showers manning even walterboro allendale now as i kind of move towards that area towards st george just west of st george a little cell here producing lightning and hail so we'll continue to watch that a lot of the other ones have pretty much dissipated so that's good news we kind of want the rain because the the rain ahead of this will help to stabilize the atmosphere and then keep everything else approaching less severe. So that would be great if we could get some more rain. Take a look at all those lightning strikes though. Wow. Parts of Georgia, even the panhandle of Florida seeing severe weather and then also warmer by the weekend. We'll have a closer look at your weekend and a look at your future tracker as well as first alert traffic. That's all coming up in just a few minutes. And it allows you to search Netflix movies by their Rotten Tomato score. Now, your first alert forecast from Live 5 News. Nobody likes a Rotten Tomato, Bill. Yes. Well, <laughs> right. it's about 415 on your Wednesday afternoon, getting you through that second half of the week, ultimately to a nicer and warmer weekend. Now, we are in the lower 70s right now, but temperatures are going to be in the mid to upper 60s for the next couple of days. That's the main story. We do still have a slight chance for showers, but that's not the main story. Look right now on our first alert live Super Doppler Max. The Low Country's most powerful Doppler radar. We are picking up on some clouds out there, but some of you are getting a break from those clouds. We'll keep it partly cloudy tonight, and that will also keep us a little bit warmer for those overnight lows. But take a look at the wind speeds right now. If you're further inland, you're seeing speeds in the single digits, but look along the coast here. 
double digits and it looks like those wind speeds will stick around through Saturday. So if you're getting a little bit of a break right now, it doesn't mean that you're not going to see those breezy or even windy conditions. We could see gusts up to 25 miles per hour through the next couple of days. Wow, Gerald's Tires uh, South Carolina Aquarium cam showing the Ravenel there. You can see it's a little dreary out there. But 72 degrees, it's still beautiful no matter how it looks here. The low country is just a great place. Northeast wind there at 9 miles per hour and temperatures elsewhere. 70 for Manning, 71 Monks Corner, 70 in Andrews. We've got you at 64 right now in Georgetown as well as Isle of Palm, 63 at Folly Beach. So pretty much ranging in the lower 60s along the coast, lower 70s the further inland you go. For your evening out, as you do have plans to maybe uh, go run some errands or grab dinner, you can see that we're going to keep it in the upper 60s for the next few hours, keeping some of those clouds out there, maybe getting little peaks of sun here and there. And then you can see if you're not seeing increased wind speeds, you will in the next few hours. Now it's still about 10 or 12 mile per hour winds for some of you, but we could see gusts like I mentioned up to 20, 25 miles per hour lows tonight. Well, it depends on where you are. You can see from Monk's Corner to Manning to King Street, upper 40s, mid to upper 40s, and everyone else pretty much in the low to upper 50s. Thankfully, that cloud cover keeping us a little bit closer to our seasonal average of 53 degrees because ultimately we're dealing with cooler weather because of high pressure bringing in that northeast flow. That's why the next couple of days we are going to be in the mid to upper 60s also because of that cold front that just pushed through. But this is our next weather maker, this low pressure system that's going to be bringing those showers. You can see over the next 48 hours, we're going to watch that. It does look to stay to our south, but Friday looks to be the best day that we could see a chance for showers, about a 40% chance for you. So over the next three days, tomorrow we just have about a 20% chance, but 40 for our Friday. And you can see 66 for both days and then 71 and a little small chance for showers, of course, but more on your seven day forecast coming up at five. Let's get to your first alert traffic as you're heading out the door this afternoon and things were looking pretty good earlier. You can see on I 26 eastbound at mile marker 214, both directions really looking pretty good and moving. You can see on the traffic flow chart, lots of green out there, parts of Savannah Highway, Highway 17, a little sticky and the merge a little orange. That just means it's a little bit slower, but no major accidents to report and that's good news. 18 minutes West Ashley to Mount Pleasant. That's I-526 eastbound. 22 minutes Mount Pleasant to West Ashley. That is the westbound direction. Not too bad for 418 on your Wednesday. Less than 20 minutes in both directions of I-26. That's Somerville to downtown. Downtown to Somerville and a quick look at Highway 17 under 30 minutes.